Good evening everybody. I just thought I'd post a very quick video to show you guys what I've been up to recently. Um, I posted a video a while back which hinted uh, at the project I was, uh, pardon the pun, beavering away at. And uh, I'm now at the point where I'm much closer to releasing it. Um, and so I just thought I'd show you a, a quick run through of all the features um, that this new plugin uh, will have. Uh, so on my screen at the moment, you'll see what looks like a pop-up, and uh, that's exactly what it is. So I uh, have created a plugin which I'm uh, currently calling Beaver Pop-ups, and the idea is that we can now use Beaver Builder to uh, create different types of pop-ups um, using the same drag and drop builder that we all know and love. Now, um, at the moment, you'll see that we have, uh, in this case, uh, it's just a regular row um, with some styling to add quite a nice border effect, um, a box shadow around the edge. And you'll see that we have um, a headline, a subheadline, and the uh, Beaver Builder um, subscribe form. And <clears throat> so that's uh, that's the main pop-up, and we can add more stuff to it if we need, um, just using the regular Beaver Builder modules or any custom stuff that we have. Um, you'll also notice uh, another button at the top, um, pop-up options, and in here we can control some of the more um, general settings for the pop-up. Uh, at the moment, uh, we've only got the pop-up type of modal, but that will be increasing very soon to um, include some other types of pop-ups. Um, we can set the width, um, the background uh, color or image. Uh, currently, for the purpose of this demo, I'll just stick with color. Um, we can choose a color and opacity. So in this case, we've got black with 50% opacity and we can change the icon uh, any icon that's registered uh, with beaver builder you'll be able to see in here and set it as your um, as your close icon so for now we'll just leave it as it is with a cross at 42 pixels in size and uh, that's white in color and lastly we have the pop-up animation uh, now, this is the section I'm sure David Wormsley is particularly excited about. Um, so we have um, various types of open animations, uh, and more of these uh, are getting added very shortly. Uh, we can control the speed of that as well, and exactly the same when we close the pop-up. And uh, I'll leave it as that for now, and hit save. And just make sure that this pop-up is published. Now, one uh, issue I was having with other pop-up plugins is um, clashing. I, I had an, uh, a lot of issues when setting pop-up settings, and in fact, that's the route I went down initially when I was creating this plugin. Um, it seems that it's very common to set plugin, uh, sorry, it's very common to set pop-up settings at a pop-up level. Um, and if you imagine if you've got 10 or 15 pop-ups, maybe more, uh, and you're in a fairly large content publishing team, um, or maybe you're not, maybe you just, uh, you're, you're on your own, but you set a lot of pop-ups, um, it can get kind of difficult to manage them. Um, you don't know what's gonna trigger where, and uh, it can get a little bit messy. So um, what I really wanted to do with this plugin, um, other than the stuff that I've just shown you, is actually create a bit of a dashboard where you can manage these pop-ups in a slightly clean, cleaner and more elegant way, uh, I hope. So if I jump across to the dashboard now, and uh, you'll see here that we have Beaver Pop-Ups on the left and Pop-Up Manager. So let's jump into there. And once that's loaded, you can see that uh, we have three different areas of the site. Site-wide, post types, and singles. 
And the idea here is that we can see um, from a bird's eye view exactly what pop-ups are set where. Uh, the basic rule is um, the further to the bottom of the screen you are, um, the more importance or the higher priority uh, is placed on that particular pop-up. So uh, just to be clear there, you'll see that we have two pop-ups set at the site-wide level. Uh, one opens uh, after two seconds uh, on open. And the same pop-up also triggers on exit, whether you do that in uh, real life or not uh, is another matter. Um, but the point is, if you are now to set a uh, another pop-up further down the page on, say, pages post type, which is just regular WordPress pages, and I've only got one pop-up, so just pretend this is another, and We'll say five seconds. This pop-up will now take precedence over the one further up the page. And that's the same with um, single pages or posts. And you can add a, a different page into here. Uh, let's say contact me. And now you can do the same. So if we had yet another pop-up, that we wanted to display specifically on this page. Uh, I've not added that to contact me after all that, but you get the idea. So this this pop up, uh, the lower down the uh, the lower down the page will take priority over the ones above. And so let's jump over to the front end so you can actually see the pop up that we created earlier in action. And we're opening the front page of a blog. So what should trigger here is this pop-up. Two seconds, and it's already there. That was probably a bad example, but if I refresh the page, and give it a couple of seconds, and there it is. And uh, we can exit out just by clicking on the background. And you'll also remember that we have an exit pop-up. So if I move my mouse up to the top of the screen, you can see that it appears there as well. Now, um, those, uh, those triggers um, can be set from the pop-ups manager, as I described um, just a minute ago. But you can also add a pop-up to a, um, a button in Beaver Builder. And I know some of you use um, third-party plugins, um, which might add some other buttons to your uh, Beaver Builder installation. So um, I've not accounted for any of those quite yet. It's just the default Beaver Builder button that this works with, but uh, I can't uh, think of any reason as to why it would be particularly difficult to add this functionality to those buttons as well. Um, so if we just edit uh, a regular page, this is just a test page with lots of weird and wonderful things going on, and we edit the button, you'll see that we have a click action of pop-up, um, and that will make this section here visible. And you can see I've already been here and added the new pop-up um, that we created earlier uh, to this button. So if I hit save, and publish this page I'll just wait for the other one to trigger there we go and just click on the button to show you so it's all the same uh, same pop-up appearing and you also notice perhaps that um, there was a secondary animation of the form itself to uh, really catch people's attention. And that's it. Um, so what I'm really hoping for now is uh, for a bit of help from uh, people watching this video. If uh, you're interest, interested in using this, um, then get in touch with me and I can send you a copy of this plugin. Um, and all I ask in return is for some brutally honest feedback. Um, any uh, issues that you find or any 
features that you think need uh, adding immediately, then uh, that sort of feedback would be really appreciated just so I can make this uh, a really useful plugin. Um, I look forward to speaking to you guys soon. Bye.